There we go. I forgot to hit record. There we go. Nothing happened. I went to the forest to meet up with people, which was the next mission, and I, I killed a beaver. I'm very sorry, greenies. Don't sue me. Back at it. Back to eating all the poke Exactly, back to eating all the Pokemans. Uh, but yes, so we still have to get the Starly. I love how I did that, and I didn't even look at what I had to do. Never defeated. Never you've evolved. Well, there you go. I'll just, I'll just kill a bunch then. The weak to electric. Hey! The fuck back here! Don't fear for your life! Stop it! Hey! In that case, oh. eh. Give me some food! Forage, damn it! You gotta work hard for the money! It works out for the body. Oh. Speaking of berries. On where we go. I don't think we've finished him off neither. What do we need for you? Uh, I have Osher. Yeah, did I see Osher? I have the Osher yet because it evolved. I only wanted it. It's like level 52. Oh, well, jeez. All right, then. Eh, I'll show what's cute. I, I don't blame you. Sometimes you've seen your ears bite. Sometimes you've obtained. Oh, forms. Number you've evolved. Number defeated. Number you've defeated with the ground type moves. I don't think I have anything with ground type moves yet. In that case, then, what do I do? I mean, there's no harm in still killing him. Well, aside from damaging the ecosystem. I don't really have anything strong against. I suppose we'll get Drifloon? No, they're flying type. They get hurt. Yeah! Roll out, it's a rock type. Super effective. And this game has brought back a lot of my favorite Pokemon. Haven't been able to play for a while, so catching some here is nice. Oh, a very good thing. Very good. Sometimes it's nice to take a break from Pokemon and then just jump in randomly to a game. This is this one took my interest because it looks different. I was trying to say before in the, in the last portions that it was like um, Monster Hunter and like Monster Hunter and Dark Souls, kind of. Oh, hi. How you doing, man? Fancy death. Don't look around. You initiated the fight. Like, uh, Ma Manaphy, for example. I finally have my own. Uh, Genuinely so happy. Oh! Hi, good night. Hey. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first. Oh! You're right. Yep, 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 yep. Go, go on. Yep, you're not full of shit. Okay. Tell me to guard down now. Retrieve safety if you find trouble. Right, thank you. Thank you very much for um, thinking I am dum dum. Oh, small lady with black hair, tall lady with black hair, and something out of my nightmares. I, I know, I know, it's the baby form of Snorlax, but nothing will replace Snorlax. What, my new face in the village? Not that it matters to me if you knew. If you hear, I assume you're prepared to help. I'm all right then. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you mightn't even know what a warden is if you knew the Hisoi. Hisoi? It's such talk and wait right now. I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that needs help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Ah. 
I am very confident that I can direct chicken. I love chicken, I eat chicken, I smell chicken, I taste chicken. I can command chicken very thoroughly. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Well, that's nice. So, like Digimon, again. Eh, how interesting. Okay, but this isn't necessarily based. Um, Roll out! I mean, if I ate the Snorlax, I'd, I'd have food for days. Alright, that's not good. Okay, fine then. If we're getting mains out, let's get the main out. Wait! Oh! Get the buttons mixed up. That's okay. Well, you're, you're going out. Sorry, 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 Mr. Beaver. You can eh, eh, or you want, sorry. I, I, I pushed the wrong button. Let's try leafage. Yeah, I'll do the plex when they try that weak shit. Punch the baby. Eat the Snorlax. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be fed for days if I did that. That's all they're doing. They're just standing there. Menacingly. Mr. Chicken! Oh, you're gonna fucking get it now. You're gonna get it now! Nobody puts Mr. Chicken in the ground but me! And he's not going in the, bed, in the ground, he's going in my belly. It's unsanitary if you put him on the ground before you eat him. Now he's dirty. That's right, you get paralyzed. Paralyzed by my genius. I'll stab him with a lightning bolt, yeah. Do you believe in our Lord and Savior, Pussus? Pussus? Who's Pussus? Munch is lax. Damn straight. A quest for the best Pokemon dinner continues with five second rule. Exactly, it does, yes. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. With, you know, like a six to one odds. With, you know, because it's like six Pokemon against one. Well fought, Munch Lax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. Why, thank you. Well, you have these. You people make all kinds of things with crafting, don't you? You should prove useful materials. Obtain five Vivichokes. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You acted as one with them. Uh, hero of all, the one we told stories to our children. I think you indeed are the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon, causing trouble in Deer Jerk Heights. There is a large, fearsome foe like an, any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? Deer Jerk Heights? Our phone is beeping. You're showing me where you gotta go, isn't it? Look at my phone! My uh -huh. isn't it a curious sort of map? Is that the one of the Galaxy Team Adventures I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show up with your Jack Ice ahead of us. With the sound of your hands, you look great, I know it! it seems quite easy to kill so you won't really hear about it. Though, before we continue, do you already know the Almighty Sinnoh? Oh god, they're trying to convert me. Almighty what now? Almighty who and the what now? I suppose that's to be expected. Let me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh's dearest time is said to have created a very universal power. Time flows the land, his soul was born, and the process is by grace Almighty Sinnoh, the Pokemon could live and thrive here. We have the Diamond Clan, or descendants of the people who cross the sea and live in the air in the Isaiah region, but not Almighty Sinnoh. Alright, it's all away, the world no longer hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has already been seen by any human in the tales of be trusted. But there are still Pokemon today, and his soul with the connection to Almighty Sinnoh. There's a state of waters like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of the ordered few and is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, you may understand. You get all that? Get the hat. Am I getting the hat? Apparently I'm getting the hat. Pick him up and smack her with him like a club. See, now that's clever. 
Smack him. Smack him good. Alpha chicken dinner time. All right. Well, I'm getting the hat, and I'll prep the chicken. There we go. Honored with the hat. It's always interesting when people ask to get the hat, because then I forget that I can put a hat on on this thing. So then we end up doing some weird amalgamation of the two. Okay. Was that me? Jesus. Right. On do we go. Oh, I love that Pokemon. Oh, what's that one? Okay. Gotta be a little sneaky. We be hunting. Why did you throw a Okay, I have a cricket tot in a flight ball. Uh, don't judge me. Don't judge me. This is all right. That was totally in intended. Now nah, I'm just trying to show off my mad skills that I don't need to even use the right balls. The fuck is that thing? Is that a Pokemon? Are you Pokemon? Oh, baby chat. Okay. Fair enough. Hi. Uh, are you off now? No. More crickets. This is a dude. Oh there, mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries, you know, the shiny red ones. They grow on some of the trees right now, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. So you come in, friend. Uh, throw any Pokeballs at the berry tree, and be sure to Pokeballs you throw us Pokemon in your mind. Don't be ashamed to waste an empty ball. Nah, I got the berries already, I think. Yeah, sure. Heavy berries. Nom, nom, nom. I prefer a little bit more meat on my plate. Throw a berry near a wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. I'm gonna give it a try on some cricket tucker right here. Huh. Oh, no, no, thank you. Thank you for the bowers. Much appreciated. Oh. I'll make up for the couple I've already wasted. Huh? Is that a Gia dude? Is that a Dwayne the Rock Johnson I see floating around over there? Oh yes, that is a good point. It is not Sinnoh, it is, it's, it's Arceus. Hey, 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 hang on, hang on a minute. That's not a good matchup. That is not a good matchup at all. I guess? It's not really good against him. I might run in this scenario. Time to yeet! Ye yeeting, quote unquote. Yeah. Come on, you can climb. You can climb. I decided to call him Sinnoh. He's a god horse with infinite arms. Just use the, his name. Maybe the plot will thicken. I don't know, though, honestly. It's a good point. You didn't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Gotcha, bitch! Got him! All right. No. 
see nothing. You see nothing, good sir. What do we need? Number of heavy specimens you've caught, number defeated, times you've seen rollout, times you've defeated with water type, times you've defeated with grass type move. Oh, what am I talking about? I had a friggin' Rowlet. I mean, it's good that I just caught the first one though, anyway. We got him! Critical catch! Does cricket top taste like chicken? I don't know yet. It's not on my belly. Maybe. I have the subtle hint that it'll taste like, um, some kind of crab. Some kind of crab or salmon. Yeah, the side of rock soup. It's kind of, you use the geodude rocks, you know, it's kind of like a tea bag. You just kind of chip away at its skull and put it in the side of your tea. It just creates that, you know, that interesting taste to your water, you know? And then you can use, I don't know, um, a side helping of a crushed cubone skull to, like, to finish the job. That's like, that's like your definition of, uh, like, a real tea bag. The, the other one's, like, more like flavouring, and then your coffee is, uh, is cricket top droppings. It's a subtle difference, but it does, it does, it does make all the difference. I forget if we have to catch any more. No, we don't. This is just a case of killing. We can't restructure the Pokemon we have. Currently, can we? We have to go back home, don't we? Yeah, I think we can. Not here. They don't have ye old electricity. It's a shame, because... But then again, I do have... Bidoof has rollout. So that'll still work in this scenario. I'm not going to go a wall on um, getting goals. I'll just do a few little things that, in my initial way. Keep on skull as bone broth. For the ser ah, yes, yes. Smart. Obviously, I am dealing with a real po pokey chip. I thank you. I thank you. Well, I thank you for the food. Take your advice and twist it. You don't see anything. You don't see anything. Now you do! Yes, yes, sh shave Geodude remains. It's like, um, it's like peeling a potato. So, this one, you good for him. That one's moving. Get to that. Goodbye! Oh! Let's try that again. Leave it! Pretty sure that's a Pokemon. So I wonder what happens if we throw a Pokeball at it. Nothing. Just boop. They did, they just pooped a stone, actually. That's a good point, Plampy. They pooped a stone. Okay, let's try this thing. No. Ah! I see, you are hiding! Strong boy. I wouldn't mind having him. What can I say? I've taken a liking. Come here, get in the ball. Good strong boy for a good strong meal. Okay, iron chunk.
That sounds like a Zubat, if I ever heard one. Yeah. Let's not get too distracted, though. Let's just... Grab the stuff for our initial area and keep going. Okay. Let's continue down. The path to glory! The glory! More food either way, exactly. Oh, yeah, it could have pooped out a baby. Geo Mio could have pooped out a rock baby. So now you are Aussie female. That's what I'm getting from this. Oh, so even the professor decided to join us. Oh, Jesus Christ! <sighs> oh, oh, thank goodness I got here just in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on the chance to observe an alpha and take up my real calling as a shitty photographer. I suppose that's your business, as long as you stay out of the way. This is the... I'm, I'm immediately going to forget the accent. This is the Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come a long way to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon des descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Not the destination. The, the, the Pokemon, apparently. The, it, is that a lockdown noise? Uh, uh. Oh, it's Cricket Boy! It's Cricket! That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. <laughs> Jesus, it does sound like a lockdown. That's what you here for, Mr. Dabby. Drive the interloper from this place. From its natural habitat. Go on. And show the Pokemon it's ready for battle. Why, thank you. Oh my word, what a large specimen! Little water elf Pokemon feet across the land if they're all oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big though, they're strong and may no moves other than other kinds do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you nevertheless. I believe you're stronger than this alpha, so go show sh show me what I'm saying. Be careful, Mr. Dabby's size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. You must face it. Make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. I got it. Burn it. Pokemon with eyes glow red are called Alpha Pokemon. Pokemon are larger than the main enemies. They appear to be very difficult to catch. Also, I can't catch him. Okay, good. Break his limbs and drink his remains like a stew! You got it, Boomer. You got it. Well, I have to fight him anyway. I, I think he already sees me. But, let's see what we can do. Let's start off with Ponyta. Even though I'm pretty sure they ain't gonna live. What else is good against Bug? Uh, flying type, actually. Let's, let's go with Mr. Chicken. Hip! Um, you fucking what, mate? What if I stick it in your butt? They, they won't throw it! Oh, okay, so in this one scenario, I, I can't do a sneak attack. I just have to... Walk up like a gentleman. Excuse me. Can you get in my belly? That's why I button check that'll check the action order of all Pokemon during the battle. It shows the order in which Pokemon will take the upcoming turns with an action speed. It will also be affected by certain moves and Pokemon with high action speed may be able to act multiple times in a row. Ah, it's almost like they saw Digimon Cyber Sleuth and thought it'd be a good idea to pinch that. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Cool now, is it? Well, they had to have been full of you. I think I'll just have to take the loss off you. Leapage! Not effective! You're a oh god damn it, I'm an idiot! That's a grass attack! Mr. Chicken, why did you do that technique? You shouldn't have you shouldn't have picked that. You should have been like, no sir. I will die. That is solely on the Pokemon's fault. I am dreadful, sorry. It's hard to get good health these days. Burn it! Burn it with fire! I'm a little worried it'll kill him. Now 
said cricket thought he's a cricket thought. Yeah. Indeed I will. Okay, ghost and fly. Probably not a bad option. Jack starts crying in some fashion. With damage. I'll try hypnosis. Hypnosis! Avoid it! What do you mean avoid it? Come on now! Hypnosis! Fairly weak, and they have a status condition. Let's try a bow. I suppose this is a good time now, whether or not I should allow myself to retry catching a Pokemon. Like reloading a save or something. I think it's okay. If something like this, I'm not too bothered. But you know, if it's like a rare. Legendary. This is fine. This is fine. It's not really fine. We're running low, but it's okay. This is fine. Um. Why is normal super effective? Glad they tell you as well. Okay, what if we swap to Eevee and hit it a little bit? Let's go. Quick attack. Alright, good, perfect. I cannot weaken it anymore. Just have to throw bows. Good! Master. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best an alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. Red. Oh, wait. No, that's a different generation. We best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of facing off such against full sets. Oh, no! Delicious giant bug dinner. I thought I straight up thought that said Wayner. What in the world? Oh my god, that's a fat reindeer. It's the great weird deer. Oh, so weird deer. It's great weird deer. You just backing this shit off like it's normal. Who here will help me find the one ring? Looks upon you with kindness, Mr. Dabby. I'd say the great weird deer has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of his Hoi. while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff! A Pokemon letting someone ride it? Why, well, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola! Professor Laventon, Mr. Dabby. Captain Silene sent me. He said that once Mr. Dabby carried his quest, we were able to set up a base camp. How about that? I know this is a joint decision by Adamant and Combatant, but it's still truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. The story region only created by Old Mighty Citadel sick of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The great weird deer has taken a liking to Mr. Dabby as well. This is a good sign. My thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear how you aided us. I'll come show my appreciation for the proper reward as soon as I can. A request from my complete. The Wayne idea. Indeed. The Wayne idea. It's almost like foreshadowing, by the way, that we're gonna get it. Oh, a call of chief. What a coexistence of Pokemon. We'll need to stop fearing and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to have the base camp set up once Construction Corps arrives. Okay. And base complete. Couple taps. All done. Here we have.
Camp at our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out for the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursion directly from here. Let me get to the base camp start when we bring up on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. We say we all head back to the Wallflower. When you don't have technology, you make teleportations through camps. Some Pokemon caught. Six, three, Alpha. <laughs> Two grand. Not bad. Not bad at all. Complete, complete. Research level. Complete. Ah, yes. By his swim form. Just looks like a palette swap of Stantler. It, 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 uh, it pretty much is a re reskin of Stantler. The same thing with that growlith looking bastard. Betty, old chub, the usual potato mochi, please, and make it for three today as well. Right. Potato mochi. You all heard the great news? Frenzy Cleaver from the rumors that ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate this morning. Medical Corpse has a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Oh, this is a Cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Since your further investigation is in order, the Survey Corpse will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching a familiar Pokemon, but I'm sure Mr. Dabby here can handle things just fine! Certain, I've heard Cleaver's so mighty even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Now, now, you forget the strength of Pokemon are key items information that we in the Seven Cups are duty bound to research. And since this perilous work, our calls for a clear head of fighting fit physique, I don't believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. Yes, you enjoy your fucking meal. Well, I proceed to almost die again. I think that's enough time for that. Unless it's requested again. Now you get to see the hair. Good morning, Mr. Dabby. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sermon practice. Bring it. I'll take that fucker down. We don't have any, any other outfits. Well, any other extra outfits yet. It just looks like a palette swap. Yeah, uh, I'll be a grumpier. Yes. It does look like a grumpier version of Stantler. But we're almost full here. Stress so John the Holster Powder protect a person from fainting while out in the field. The supper chunk comes in five different colors. I suppose I should keep that then. I can sell that. <clears throat> uh, I think I should be fine holding this stuff. At least for now. Requisite parts of numerous Pokemon varieties. This should be fine holding all this stuff for now. And we can go and uh, change out our Pokemon as well while we're here. And I think I planted berries or something. Uh, last portion. There you are, let's start at headquarters. And by hurry, I mean these big cities take your time. Look who's being punctual. I realize you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. Oh, I've got I just two new characters, apparently. There you go again, assisting on your false image of an Almighty Sinnoh's ruler of time. My fellow, uh, my people follow the Almighty Sinnoh, the final of creation, ruler of space. Ha! You got a space there, still not to know what to do with it. Excuse me, really suggesting you make better use of your time than we make of vast and soy space? Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time, a mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. A word you get lost in pointlessly vast space, you're so fond of never showing up. Oh! Damn! We get lost, so many Simmons great gift of the Pearl Clan and the world's very basis. You wish. We're getting some old school seven. I wish I hadn't let myself get dragged in arguing with you. Oh my sin, oh forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Commodore's office. I believe it was you who started this. Well then. 
you walked into people having a massive argument. And hello, Le Chadel. Hello. Long time no chat. Hello, nice to see you. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reference space is really a leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who was going on about time, at least in the Diamond Clan. Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist in the world. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should see this conversation after you report to him. Aha, yes, you're still alive. Hello, Le Shadea. Yes. Are you doing well? Very nice of you to drop on by. Wicked smart. No! Oh, Jesus. I mean, it's so important, but you need to have a brave partner Pokemon. If you're a partner Pokemon backing you up, you'll be strong as a hundred people. I don't want to catch Pokemon I am so dead, but it's throwing balls to get my aim spot on. I think I'm ready to practice real Pokeballs. We have loads of You think you'd give me just five? Yeah, sure. I'll give you five. Sure. Here you go. Play with a nice kid. Oh, no, you have a partner Pokemon of my own. Is a war just for you. Some great dust. It's super hard to collect. How do you like it? I don't know about the ass Captain Zizu. Complete. I'm gonna practice loads of Pokeballs you gave me. If you find a Pokemon that'd be a great partner for me. Let me know so I can go catch it. Oh, I'm just gonna give you advice. Okay. I'm just gonna tell you to catch a Bidoof because they're friendly. So you're playing Sea of Thieves the other day, man. Ask, are you new to it or returning? Uh, I, I'm a concurrent player of Sea of Thieves. Or if a Pokemon starts eyeing me, I fill with Orenberry. Then while it's distracted, I just stick to the plan. I'll be fine. I send in a few ones to go get the Tumble Stones. There's me. You can leave the Orenberries to restore some HP if you eat them. So I'm going with this. Orenberries is a great way to distract and avoid wild Pokemon. It's dispensable. Got to gather some five Orenberries. Yeah, I think I got some. But no, I, I play, um, uh, Sea of Thieves on and off, yes. Um, yeah, I, I'm familiar with it. I'm not exactly an expert, but I play with my other mates. We like to play the Reapers and blow people up. Gravely except, gosh, can't believe you went to help finding this for me. I didn't actually, uh, not really, but... Uh, yes, I meant to say happy to help, yes. Vibes. I'll take the revives. Okay. Switch out a Pokemon a bit. Okay. So what do we got? What do we want to get? Okay. Cricketoon. Cricketoon! I think we're Despite me liking Cricketoon, we already have a, a bug. Like a bug. Is it a. I think it's a flying bug. Oh, okay, it's just a bug, but still, like, we have a grass type that does flying. I don't think we need a bug right now. I mean, maybe in the future, if there's a Scyther! Then I probably can't resist if there's a Scyther. Uh, I definitely want a Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Dwayne's are always handy. Question is, what do we replace him with? I say we replace him with uh, Bidoof. Then again, Bidoof's handy. I mean, they're going to keep Bidoof or Eevee. It's one or the other. And I've kind of got a soft spot for Eevee. They're still too high a level. Worry about them. Shinx is good to keep. Plus, they even got Wurmple as well. Like, I think it's pretty much it, really. The rest of the team, I think, is not bad. At least for now. We don't have a water type, though, do we? A water type would be good. Hmm. I will get a water type, but not yet. Because only have one of him. And the HP's 69. So they're perfect the way they are. Yeah, I think it's good. Uh, 
Uh, what is that? Uh, also, they're being idiots. Ask this man, Diaga and Palky to work together to help keep balance and all the respective things. Stop squabbling like mealing babies. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, because the diamond and the... Yeah. I didn't put two and two together. Where's the garden? The garden's dead ahead. Okay. Dead ahead to the left, I think. Well, you know, it's back in the old days when, you know, we... The way we settled things was played a game of who has the biggest stick. Oh, I get that. Totes next stage, bruh. You get it? Because they're evolved. <laughs> Got him. So, uh, do I just talk to the game? Collect. Said the coach, I saw the darndest thing. I was going to harbor with a crop, was going to the field. When I saw a Pokemon called Cherub changed his appearance before the very eyes of the evening. The sudden Cherub's the pedal cools right up. Looks like nothing. Firebug. Well, I thought it was winning the Miracle Evolution. Second chip, drop back to full bloom. It's like a giant big flower all of a sudden. Let me see the book is. You're done. I know I talked to you about plants. I could have sworn I was talking to someone about plants. Unless I can't collect until I do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bit more. Bit more time. Okay. They're literally cricket tots next stage is evolution. Oh, no. I, I know that. Uh, isn't it just a little baby cricket and then cricket tot? I thought that was it. And this is another one. Hello, old school Zarya. How you doing? Hello there, Ceramic Obstacle. Do you need something from me? I'd like to check moves. You never eat it again. Swift. Stack never misses. Let's go with Swift, actually. I can help with it. It's going to cost you one thousand dollars. Huh? If this ball of moose is expensive. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well then how do I hang on a minute, how do I like master moves, hang on a minute. What do you mean master moves? I forgot about that. If you don't have a seat of mastery, what can I do for you? Oh, okay, right, gotcha. So, after. Now, how do I give you that move? There we go. Confirm! Beautiful. Oh, wait, no, 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 I'm, I'm good. Play this to stay in good health. Why not? We'll buy all the charms. We'll buy all the charms. The person being afflicted with status because this type of charms comes apply to different colors. There's a few items. Jesus Christ, I don't have that money, lady. Another time. No, well, that's time for them trying to make more bears. Like five of these, and then the rest Pokeballs. Top to, to cricket tune. Also, cricket tune is the is the big one. Is the big one that I that I uh, captured for for consumption. Yes. Is that cricket tune? Hello. Would you like to get my belly? Ever. 
I like Abba. Yeah, she's an alright singer. Oh, but, yep, exactly like a scientist's play. Hey! Cinder Quill! You still haven't cooked the chicken yet. Some quest person back on. Which one will you check? Bobbus and Badoo playing with Triflu. It's a man of Bobbus and Badoo keeps singing the village and causing trouble. Doing this for Mickey Bob, see if we can help settle this. Can I accept both? Yes. Children, making the semi cost could tell you more, so we can really get a lot of this. No other request. Look, yeah, there's been a lot of good things carrying the fight out there. I say, I can pick up quests from there, apparently. That's right, you stand there in your tank. That's right. Ah, uh, that's where Bird Boy would be. Upstairs, okay. Right, okay, I'm just getting distracted at this point. Upstairs. Okay, the alpha is quicker too. Thank you! Much appreciated. Sprinty, you came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see. Am I lending me a hand? It's be the right size to the top one of my pickled pots. Never enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles. Fermenting, but I suppose it would be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing in the pot. This thing would be for the stone to lift itself up, actually. What I'm gonna do is a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on Deer Track Heights. Be a perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it back for me? I just so happen to have a Geodude! But I would rather not give you my Geodude. But I'm pretty sure I don't have to give it mine. I think I can give it one of the ones in the, uh... Thingy, 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 Bobby. I was just gonna give it to you. She's probably left where she said she was gonna go with it. Gonna go somewhere. Woo -woo! Hello, pretty lady. How you doing? Off we go. Unless you're a boy, then. Hello, pretty boy. Mice, do you want to add the alpha to your team? The alpha? You mean the Alpha cr Cricket too? What do you intend to do about the Cleaver Commander, Commando? He may be descended from the War of Almighty Sinnoh, but he looks the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get to the point, Adam. Adam. I'm wasting this a lot. Well, tell me, what do you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point! My clan can't intervene directly with the Lord Pro Clan's concern. If my people were to do something, our two clans might enter back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, have they? It seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? With the Diamond Clan of the Pro Clan now one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. I thought it, maybe. You might have well said it, you fool! Look, we don't even have the Druid Lords clean in such a violent frenzy! I'd like to know that myself. This is the first far class, too. Hmm, I see you've arrived. Look at the convenient person here to do our dirty work. Oh, you earned weird we, we, we deer's favor, or the wheat we, peener's favor. Let me meet you. I'm Adam, leader of the Diamond Clan. You have a formula that's a mouse, but just call me Adam. If you can't be on the space shift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Iridia, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution the foresight are my watchwords. That's why I have trouble believing such a tale, because you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before designing what must be done? You send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver? This newcomer with no experience? Sit. This is leader with almost no experience. <laughs> Being a leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing a story's vastness without fear. Well, then you have it. You know, it doesn't matter. Let's give the kid a chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. It should be fun. I'll get to see how you galaxy foot really are. We'll we, 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 Pokemon with strange balls and what have you. Oh, strange shit. Practice bother. Almighty Sinnoh made his story so vast and free from freely. We stand alongside Pokemon, not ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. 
This is your mission now, Mr. Dabby. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of this situation. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day on the very sky. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Well, Jesus Christ, I have only 15! I settled in. There's no time like the present. Fleet is in my almighty sinner's power. Yeah, you pay him. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Hisoid region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clans. Understand? Join me downstairs, Mr. Dabby. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Okay, downstairs I go. I mean, I could I could add Cricketune to the team, but I don't know. I just... Eh. I don't really add things to my team because they're the strongest. I just, I go with what I think is cool. If it's cool, it's on the team. Mr. Chicken is tasty. That's why Mr. Chicken's on the team. Ah, good. You're already here. Professor Lavender, in the briefing of you, please. Oh god, I'm getting more confused. Right, right down to Mr. Dabby, I just made request to find the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. Because you're aware by now, Cleaver's a mighty thing. Now I invent to believe him. The security cops tried to throw Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. The he he's a far trickier opponent than ever. Those aggressive species Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear at this point, the mission will put you in extreme danger if you believe you can handle it. Yes! I'm a big boy, and I can do what I want. The Diamond Pearl Clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve Almighty Sinner. They believe uh, they leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call Noble Seats. So perhaps a good study point for research can find with these offerings they normally leave for Cleaver. Pocket pause. Mr. Dabby, we need to speak with you. This is a rift space and time like it connects to the other world. One might be Almighty Sinnoh with silver eyes. It's too mighty Sinnoh that is one that rules over time. So if you fell through space and time rift, that means you travel through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it. You must be swimming in its divine might. Well, I got a favor to ask. Oh, amazing time travel. Don't just study Cleaver. Quell his frenzy. Well, you might have caught us a good job, you know. We're just discussing our next steps. Oh, ho, you galaxy team I heard about. Mr. Press, show us some dollars for me some time. Well, let me elaborate. Uh, Pearl Clan's respect for Cleaver. You heard this title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they are uh, under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those galaxy team for help. But the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our heads. A Pokemon dear to us off of the mountains has flown in the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there's plenty of bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but we've got, uh, we've got to share his soy. That means we've got to take our, tackle our problems together. There aren't many people standing up to say power of Pokemon. You're the best. Who we got? We find Cleaver at the Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of Hartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit... Brilliance can be blinding. You know, he's kind of an asshole. I'll tell you about beloved Cleaver, you know, whether you wish to or not. Anyway, jump to the challenge. We've been counting on you. Have a nice day. We've chatted you up enough. Bye. So enough quite a quick once he finished talking, because he really values his time. I'd imagine my word strong, you know. If you were to study, perhaps even quote Cleaver, you best start by visiting his bow. New Heist Camp will be a handy place to step forward. You stop by the passage, too. You want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. Already done, Toots. Okay. That's a lot of context. Time to go, Jesus. Finding yourself with big pitch materials you come across, satchel always seeming full. If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear for a moment and hear what I have to say. Alright. You can carry even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you like. What do you say? Yes! Teach me the way! Show me the way! Yes, I'll pay 100. Really, this is a, um, a scam. 
made space to keep one more kind of item in your satchel. And that's all there is to it. See how much more you can fit in packing things rightly? You'll be able to carry even more things as Mark can teach you. What do you say? Yes. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Let me uh, have a look at this bag. So this too, you see a much of a package? Is this just gonna go on forever? I should have kept my money! Are we just gonna do this perpetually, forever and ever? It's more like teaching, yes. Eh. How high up is this gonna go? Let me do like one more thing. I suppose. 500. Now I'm officially out of money. I can't I can't do another one. You've got to pay my fee first. Come back when you can. Alright. Fair enough then. We got a few more slots though, that's handy. Oh, we got that stuff we can sell as well, we should do that. Depending on how much money we get, we could probably sell that and come back. the effort level for one Pokemon stats. It can be used to raise efforts only up to level three, however. I don't want to sell stuff in there. Let's go back real quick. And increase the inventory again as much as we can. Might as well get this out of the way now. You can upgrade your satchel total 37 times with the final upgrade costing you for one million! One million?! Jesus wept! Alright, I was like, oh yeah, let me just get all these uh, out of the way now. I can see that that's that's not gonna happen. That, that, that's not gonna happen. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Boomer, for um, smacking me with a healthy dose of reality. seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you can help me out with something? I'd be very grateful if you try to craft something using a special recipe I came up with. So without further ado, here's the recipe. Pokishi dolls. From scratch, I say lots of wood. It's a recipe for what I've named Pokishi dolls. I invented them, you see, as special items that we can make in this village. I'd love to have craft one you could show me. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Right. Not quite as cute as a pokey doll, but it'll do. <clears throat> hi. Just thought I'd say hi. Okay then. That's a haircut. And you got new got new outfits? anything new, lady. I see anything new. Yeah, let's get out of here. I think that's about it. Pretty pictures. You caught three different species of Pokemon in your trial. That's no mean feat. I have a job properly. Alright, let's pesky be doof again. Ah, there they are! Let him go! I look away for one second and the little scoundrel falls right in the goddamn village! Complete failure. If only we had someone who could just eat the bastards. I don't have to worry about him anymore. Two more than I can think of. I have an idea. I've heard these particular pests get easily distracted if other Bidoof are nearby and end up letting their guard down around humans. So if you bring Bidoof to draw their attention, I can seize that chance and cast a little troublemakers. Voila, perfect plan. Combine the efforts, catch all three in no time at all. 
Out of a duty team and go find the bothersome trail problem in the village. Well, ironically enough, I just removed him. But that's okay. We'll put him back. I guess we're looking for bee doof now. We search the age what I'm here for, whether it be here or future D and Ah! Thank you, Mr. Burma. You're always here to lend a helping hand. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Hi! I'm a bucktooth. I am also a bucktooth. Would you like to be friends? Would you like to be converted into the religion of get into Mr. Dabby's belly? Well, that's fine. That's the exit. Probably around the corners, let's be honest. Oh, calm yourself, you'll be fine. Be more of the high ground, Anakin. See anything? Big fat beaver. Is that hard to find? See beaver over there. Oh. No beaver here. Lisa seeing the beaver. Beaver, beaver, beaver. Any hints? Okay. Fair enough. I did like a whole outside lap. In the water. Maybe they're in the water. Investigate. Went roughly in that direction. No, no, no. Maybe there's a hint on here. Find your way to green chair. Log. What's it down? You may listen to me right. I'm saying, if players from all over can find your lost items, send them to you via the internet. This system is called Lost and Found. If you find a statue someone else has lost, be sure to pick it up. The statue you receive will be returned to its owner, and you can receive MP as a reward. MP can be exchanged around as a training post in Light Village. Pick up lost satchels wherever you find them, and you may be able to get hands some very special items. Oh. A 
Oh, Jesus. They'd be losing stuff, bruh. Well, I'm seeing no beaver. That's my main concern, right? Oh, there you are! Get like triple beaver dumplings. A bee dumpling. <laughs> Make food out of it, smoke it, churn it, mulch it. Bee doof! Will it blend? Show, if that's that was the fucking context, Jesus. Well, we found one over here. We found one in between the doorways and such over there. One would assume that they would spread these fuckers out. So I'm gonna assume the other one's like in the middle of town somewhere. Located on the map. What's this? Purchase protected charms. We saw that one around here. I'm gonna guess this one's in the middle of town somewhere and I just must have missed it. Personal now, damn it! I went all the way around there. Not there. I mean, I know I look back here. Can't be here. Oh, come on now, Beaver! Stop hiding. You having a swim? Maybe they're by that rock. They're near the rock! Hmm. I don't think we found one, did we? Would make perfect sense if they were hiding over here somewhere. Jesus on the cross or something there. Arceus, almighty oh Arceus. No, I don't know why they would hang out outside the perimeter. Um, practice field. I mean, maybe, but they, they, they weren't, they said themselves that they weren't, that they were inside. something totally different. Um... Hmm. It's definitely not there. That's Pokedex. It doesn't really show me quests that I've grabbed that I think. It's gotta be here somewhere. It's gotta be here somewhere. Where are you? Where are you? I can't throw them in the water. Something tells me they're hanging out in the water. They're having a swim. Good old rocket time in the water.
maybe near it. Red percent or not in the water. Unless they do that one. But that's outside the turf. Set up an excursion. Where is this bastard? Better! Stop dragging this out! It's the easy way or the hard way, damn it! And now you're making it the, the boring way. Come on now. I mean, we saw the other two outside. I'm pretty sure the other one's got to be outside as well. Oh, there you are. Give me that butt. Sniff out the bee doof. You say hi, you greet one another. Need to catch it. Good. You caught it. Good. Hold on. Soon they'll be back into the wild. No, my construction corpse could find a use for them. Well, they are beavers. Good with wood. Diggity. Naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction corps. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. Are they supposed to know our village is strict no chewing zone? Shows good taste on their part to come all the way here and know our, on our woodwork, too. But if they're gonna stay here, they'll have to help with our work. They've got the guts to keep trying to get the village, plus teeth to gnash through the trees and rocks just like our corpse need. How about it, little ones? Meal tastes better after a day's work, you know? No problem. That's what I wanted to hear. I'm not convinced this lot of having an honest day's work, but I've circles watching over them, and I suppose it's alright. Well, there you go then. You got more free manual labor. Father Simbidoof complete. Red candy? Red candy? I thought you guys didn't have red candy here. How are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here, just for you. Oh, think nothing of it. Having the survey corpse out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know? Supporting you is actually an investment of my own fortunes. Well, uh, I could use more super potions then. I'm an investment that I'm valuable. But now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. He's getting out like a fucking flash thing, gotcha. Well, while we're here, let's uh, switch out the Badoo for the Gibby again. Oh, we're so to the Badoo fits for the Ghosty. I like variety. There we go. Oh, yeah, maybe. But do I have two normal types? No, we do not. Looks like I thought maybe I had another one still. Yes, we're heading over here. Ice cave. All right. What time is it now? I could probably do this for maybe another... Either 30 minutes to another half hour. We'll save the rest for the next. Let's play Lissession. Why it just be quiet with no warning? Pretty creepy if you ask me. Oh, we just the inventory space. Ah, oh, yeah, we're good for space. Alright, 
<clears throat> Let's go. Onward! Oh, that's a boy. Uh, number of you different forms you've obtained. Numbers defeated. Have you evolved? This particular scenario, then. <coughs> I think it'd be handy <coughs> to have either Geo Boy or the other in front. What moves they got again? Roll out, mud slap. Hey, you found a shock. It'd probably be better to just have it. Oh, they've got. We got other moves? I take fire, Fang. Yes. Because ice is good against flying, but so is um, the other. So now I've got variety on him. Can you get any more moves? No. What about, um, Mr. Chicken? Change moves. No, you're good. Ponyta. No, you're good. Deflone. No, you're good. All right, let's go. <clears throat> so I'm going to kill it. Yeah. You dingus! Let's just head over here. Behind the rock. Get him! Get him! You bastard! Why do you gotta be all insistent on living? Kind of multi. Give me that. Thank you. So we need to get down here safely. Notice how I said safely. What the fuck is that red thing? Is that a parasect? Parasect! Oh, that's not good. That's not good. If I, if I could run, that'd, that'd be good. If I could run! Run, boy! Up the hill! Up the hill! What will happen if I do this? No guys nearby. Okay, this one wants to fight. Good. Right there, that's kind of cute. Uh, little buddies, little rock buddies. <laughs> Parasect, this Paris. Hit. 
saw some jumping around and felt like you might deserve a little tap tap. Oh, I did not consider that. I did not consider the fact that my boom is also being corrupted. Made another a rock baby. Oh, that's fine. We got potions too, anyway. Let's see what we can do here. There's the goal. The goal's over there. It's not too far away. Oh, that's a big boy, isn't it? Should be all right, fine. Got him. That is a big boy. That is a really, really big boy. And um, only time. I think it's time to exit stage run. Yes, I would like to run. Well, these guys like these guys aren't frightened at all, are they? They're like, yeah, we're down to we're down to fight. Let's go, baby. There we go. See, good, good as new, Mr. Chicken. See, you will live to be eaten another day. Oh, these guys are ready to go, are they? Oh, man. oh, baby. Oh, they're fucking going. They're going, are they? Oh, goddamn. They're all, they're all coming. Oh, Jesus. I'm being surrounded here. I'm being surrounded. I don't like these odds. Crap, that's actually kind of cool. They're all just like joining in on the fight. Sure, little buddy, you, you, you can make it. You can take them all down. Ow, oh, God. My horsey. So I just burn him. It's all right. Burn. It doesn't matter that you're severely outnumbered. Just, just, just burn them. Burn, burn, burn. It's a Paris massacre. Cooking up some deep fried shrooming. Where the hell did you come from? And don't spray you, you spores. That's just, that's just rude. That's just you. Stop that! I just said that's rude. Stack. Wait, you can stack? Oh, then no, you can't stack. The one replaces the other. There, now you're burnt, and you like that. get hurt as I walk around like in the old games. Oh no, I don't think it's poisoned anymore. Any poison? No. Okay, that's kind of nice. How generous. I thought there's another one. I haven't even caught any of you yet. Number caught, uh, times you've seen it, number you've defeated with fire type moves. Well, that's gonna be going up there real quick. Uh, number caught. Then we can just 
injure it. Tackle! with the mission, I think. I don't think we've dilly-dallied long enough. At least, as we get closer. We'll slowly make our way. Maybe we can catch him. I mean, you caught without being spotted. I'm a defeated. Okay, just don't get spotted. sure that one guy as well they they wanted us to make something what was this again uh number defeated gone without being spotted not being involved If I'm correct, uh, I needed to make something. Was that a uh, craft? Oh no, I had to give him. I had to give him the mushroom. Okay, never mind. I have to try and remember that. So we're gonna hit this way. Oh God! I saw that in the background. That did not. That did not render very well. That's a big boy, isn't it? That's that's a more evolved fella. I wonder if I can do that technique they mentioned. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Okay, no, they, they, they see me. They see me, all right. Hey, you doing? I'll see you later. That, that was a mistake. I was trying to get out my Pokemon to break the tree. But, hey, I'm down here. Bad news, I'm pretty sure I can't swim. And I don't think I can get back up. I may have screwed myself over. Ow. Magikarp? Maybe, just maybe, Use them and swim my ass back to shore. Huh? Magikarp, my saviors. Try Eevee. Huh? Actually, pretty strong for Magikarp. But Eevee, you swift. Go eat him! That, 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 
That that wasn't part of the plan. Um. Uh oh. Uh uh uh. Uh oh. Can I? Can I teleport? Oh, thank God I can. All right. I get to teleport. All right. Well, considering that we did that, let's let's just bolt now. The place we go, because I think we've used up a lot of time. We can proceed to unstick ourselves. There we go. Actually, can I just heal? Can I can I rest here for a little bit? Okay. Just a little. There we go. Let us continue on our merry, merry little journey. You've seen it use gust number of times you've defeated with rock type moves. I can do that. Autobots, roll out! Well, Geo dude, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, roll out. Oh my god, they're actually doing a very good amount of damage to you. That is, that is not good. boy they're alive see and nothing went wrong oh god I'm sorry have a berry I didn't mean to do that have a berry I'll see you later you get too distracted anyway All right so this water we can cross the water let's try this rat instead shall we This is shallow enough just for us to walk. I forget how to change positions. I'm a court during daylight hours, and I mean, you've caught with rock type moves. This gives you the best knack for navigating in the dark. That's nothing right now, so let's just keep going. Because I don't think so. Oh, that's a big baby boy!
They don't have a water type. not good. Eevee! Normal on normal, let's go. No, not tackle! Not looking, damn it. Let's try swim. Again! Jesus, wait! Alright, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I think if I just revive, I'm gonna get stuck in a revival loop. What was something that was that could take some hits off your Shinx? Oh, I can I can use multiple. Okay, that's good. If that's the case, we we might be able to do. This. Oh no, oh okay, no, it's not. It depends on the speed. Just one. We're gonna get stuck in 
gonna loot for you this. Okay. Lesson learned. Be more prepared. Cut our losses. Let's get out of here. Wow, oh, Jesus! Got us with a roar. No, 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 no. I am kind of intrigued though. Let me try one more thing. So what were the good ones? It wasn't bad. Uh, really pretty much it was Evie and Shinx. Maybe Mr. Chicken. But even then. No, because they had moves that could hurt and kill everything else quite quickly. If I get Shinx in fast enough... Now it's fully healed! Okay, that's not good. Cut our losses, get out of here. I thought maybe it wouldn't have been healed yet. And I don't think that berry would have fully healed it. It must heal itself up the counters. Ah! Time to get out! Time to go, boy! Run for your life! That's one from the Wurpees, from the Wurpee tree. Okay. Let's keep moving. Yeah. It's a long and treacherous journey, but by God, we're making it. Got more rabbits. Full points. Now being spot and number defeated. And turns to use baby doll eyes. Time to be given food. Onwards we go. Then this very, very well kept walkway. I really hope we don't have to do any kind of 
lot of strategical battle. Is there a save button actually? A save button! Should be a save button. Save progress. Done. Just in case. The water to Cleaver, Lord of the Woods! And you have already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleaver, am I right? Of course I am. I can see it so clear for all the proper awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful! Perhaps that strange lightning, lightning the other day was almighty Shino's divine power, but whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might! So I must turn you away even if it pays me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. Well, that's that thing. Huh? Truly, you mean to simply give up? Is that your passion for Cleaver so poultry? But well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told it's no uncertain term by a ritter that I'm let near Cleaver. I will fight you off myself then, if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now, while you still can't face my wrath, the wrath of my Gumi. Uh, you know, I, I think I'm gonna, I, I think I'm gonna bow out for now. L let me come back on this little wheel. Let me just, uh... See, now I'm gonna laugh if he's like, Well, before we fight, let me fully heal your Pokemon. Let's get some revives in here. There we go. Are the Healy boys going on here? Yeah. There we are. Yeah, good as new. Good as new, guys. Who should we start with? Let's start with Shinx, because they're a good middle of the road kind of thing. I'll take you on. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go Goomy. See if you can do some good sense out of them. Goomy. I wonder what type Goomy is. If I'm correct, it's Dragon. I don't 100% know what it's weak against, so... Oh, it even says over there. Let's go with bite. The try to charge bite. Oh well, that's not very nice, now is it? Ow. I'm gonna eat your ass. Don't spit it on me. I'm gonna eat it. No, no, no. But my point still stands. It's too dangerous to be Cleaver now. The only welcome you get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I try making him an offering, a nice, keep helping him his two favorite food, silver, respect my little one. That's me, old oh, curse. You're usually enough to please him and so the prickliest of moods. And I claim a lot of water. <coughs> Close enough to give him any offering he's got with. All right, Cleaver is rampage. You're running a muck. <coughs> oh, oh, boy. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleaver, weird, the, the wean deer in their cohort, drew an almighty Sinnoh's power to protect the Pokemon of people alike, so it's said by their grace that our clan today that any of us still lives in the vast Hisoi. Hisoi! What are you doing here? Say Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid the strength of this is a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, the bolts could have sent a false Sinnoh the Diamond Clan bows to. Cleaver means so much to our clan. I hope we can bring the situation under control, not throw our hands up and ask our outsiders for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team. <clears throat> you! Stretch for the sky, tell me! Could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could it also actually find a way to quell our Lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. 
It's what I do, I adapt. Very well. Lee and I will gather clues to Beast Cleaver in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. But you, find a way to quell his friends, even if you must search every corner of Vest. Too sweet! What? What strange, fucked up looking phone? Press the X button while consulting the map, your arc button instantly travel to base camps. It might not be usable in some situations. Oh good, so you know, like a hearthstone. So for example, if you get stuck on a rock in the middle of the, uh, in the, middle of the river. <clears throat> so let's get a report what you've learned, okay? Well, we went a fair way, didn't we? I think that's where the guy the springy mushroom as well. Oh no, okay, no, it's the other camp, I think. You, who are you? This marvelous rich tone, how is it produced? I must know. Oh, I didn't see you there. Uh, it's wonderful, personally, I want to learn more about Krikatot. I must be curious about them as well. Well, oh, sounds, your musical sounds. Krikatot, show it to me, uh, show me the okay. No worries. Oh, I need to complete it. Okay, then. Well, you might need to wait a little bit. Good to see you, Mr. Dev. What's your research in the cleaver going? Was that so? Not that, uh, that's quite a tidbit. So, seven good favors will normally make cleaver quite agreeable. Is that it? I need to mold this over back in the laboratory. You can come too if you want. Okay, two grand. I'll take two grand. Research level complete. So we're getting there. All right. I'm assuming that means we can get another star chippy. So according to the information you were able to learn from the radio, the Lian Pro Clan, uh, with the stuff across the fence, friends include will be caught by a nice saving to have foods. I do wonder, is it possible the aromas of some other components of these foods by combining a way that could not only calm Cleaver, but draw him back from this frenzy? But by your own report, Cleaver Warden to look after Cleaver and know him well, you cannot approach him in this current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment if you would. I need a chance to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research that could help us. Just staring at a fucking wall, that's what I do. And I stare at books. I don't read them, I just stare at them. Wait a minute. I got it! Eureka! We give him food! We'll simply have to. <laughs> You know, I was joking when I said it. But you pretty much... I didn't say throw it. But you pretty much hit the nail on the head. You've got quite the art for throwing things at me, Mr. Debbie. But I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon. Directly at his head. Make sure he's extra pissed off. That makes sense. We can use our skill of Pokeball Craft to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls. Then throw them and achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. Uh, I never do say so myself, as for what to call these jumping projectiles. How about tea time balls? Put one of these in mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? How about we simply call them Lamington balls, Professor? <clears throat> oh my, with that name, it sounds like I'm the one being launched at our frenzy friend. In any case, we can rely on Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foods, correct? We should get back to Grand Tree Arena and let Pearl Clan know our plan. If you're up to Grand Tree, let's set out for Hyde's camp, eh? Right. So we came here to have a discussion about throwing food. Hi. Uh, yes, I've got some. Yeah, have some money. Thank you for the extra slot. Much appreciated. Nope, that's all I got for now. 
Yeah, okay, fine. You can't make me of anything else right now. I think what I'll try to do is we'll try and see if we can catch or calm this fucker down. And then I think that'll be a good point to stop. So how's our team looking? Our team looks fully healed. I don't think I can make that thing you wanted yet. Can I just buy the supplies, maybe? <clears throat> no, I cannot. Where did I get the wood then from? Either way, fair enough. My mind, that galaxy all is one fine building. Even from the outside, the galaxy's team building. So they got themselves the grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh, yes. I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on. Let's head to... What did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? I wanted to... Ah, wanted to go to the other camp so I could try and give that guy the fucking mushroom. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, it's... Wiener! I spoke to Weird dear, about what's going on. Because you can talk to Pokemon. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field in a secret close frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan of the Perkle. Just some water if it'll drift in this world. And you that, well, you see I responded. I trust you appreciate it. When it's found you worthy, see which means you'll be able to, uh, you'll need a flute like we have. My demonstrating of mine is very important, so listen well. You know the theme song to uh, Legend of Zelda? Celestial flute. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on weirdo so you can ride upon him. Oh, baby! Don't want to say I called it, but I think I called it. So the Celestial Flutes are gifts from all by the and now this one's yours! We used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. It's Timbre, Eerie, and Mysterious. So great. I really can't play a flute for the life of me. Let's see if you can play that melody. Shit! Would you open his heart and learn the sound of your playing? Well, I'm warming up to you. Received a mind plate from Weirdy. Wing Weirdy. Stone Temple imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When used in a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the psychic type. Oh. I see. I see. I'll have to look that one up, probably. Got a friendly Pokemon to quell, yep. We did go across the fields in no time. You now could wheel down, gallop across the land. Press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert for what Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places when you're running about. No problem. <clears throat> Hey there. Nice to meet you, young Sylvia Recruit. I hear you have a rare ability to dash over hill and valley Pokemon. Yes, so why not try a hand at a balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. It's simple. You just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. You managed to burst, say, 17. Well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me here at any time, so let me know when you feel like a uh, balloon race. Balloon race and feelings. Ah, why not? Ride a balloon, smash the balloons. Ride, ride, ride. Burst them all. If you manage to stay burst set, so how about it? Can you want to play? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's see if we can be burst. 45 seconds. Get that out. Get bursting. Time for a race, then. <clears throat> Let's go! It's killing all these poor pups. Oh, well, well. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna get 
a lot. Not all of them, but a lot. Hey, yeah. I think it's it. 27, pretty good. Welcome back. You burst 27 balloons. You're so close to bursting them all. A little reward should help keep you motivated. Oh, he wants me to burst them all. Okay. Rare candy featherball. Oh, that's good. This was the easiest of the lot. Let's see if you have one who takes a challenge tomorrow and raises skills to the next level. Sure. I'm not going to keep doing this, but... I might try one more time. Because we continue to get close. One or two more times, we'll see. I'm not going to keep doing this, though. Let's go! You popped every single balloon. You're definitely a balloon bursting boss, that's for sure. That means you deserve something special to mark the occasion. I got a nugget! I'm gonna sell that and immediately buy that for another bit of space, probably. A rare candy. Well, fuck it, I he just I think he's just dumbfounded. He's like, well. Hang on. He's a rest, I wanna see my Pokemon. Do some shopping. See my Pokemon. Oh hell yeah! I don't even have to go to the pastures. I can just come here. That's so convenient. Ah! Thank you. Thank you, strange man. I can't say I'm really liking my time with this drift loom thing, honestly. But I will keep them in the party for now. Perhaps they will be more useful later. They are the most expendable though so far. Um. But you, I think I already spoke to you. I wanted to go here. What's this? Max's lost satchel. Maven's lost satchel. James's lost satchel. Oh, okay, so I can return things. Uh, okay. I don't think it'd be that frequent. So where's that guy? There was, um... Ah, here, you, 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 you. Well, that's a nice springy mushroom. I didn't see one. I could choose... Uh, I'm glad to choose from a request. You could want to take me a mushroom forfeiture. By the way, did you know that springy mushrooms like this multiply in no time? That's why you'll find them all over the obsidian fields. And it's so fertile, too. Fry and stew will taste great. They're teaching my recipe. Uh, okay, yes. Delectable mushroom cake, beloved by Pokemon. Far away, just throw one on a Pokemon, and if it's partial to a nice mushroom snack, you bet your bottom toad still, it'll go after cake lure. Use the opening to make your gateway, or just try to catch Pokemon. Here, I'll give you some of my own cake lure bases so you can get crafting right away. Too bad, seems satchel is nowhere for base to base. Can you make famine? Mushroom cake. Mushroom cake. Send you storage. Okay. No problem. In the storage is fine. I say let's move them in there. I don't need to hold on to you for now. Unless I can sell it to that dude. Can I sell it to you? Shopping. Up here. 
Hell yeah, ten grand moonies. All right. Let's go back over here. Again, things like um, lost and found and picking up little things. <clears throat> I'll probably do that in my own time. Because that's it's not something that's really going to carry on the story or do anything big. And I would I don't want to bore everyone by doing that for like 100 hours. I suppose, like a bunch of scrubs. Is that fucking beat it? I'll be back for you. I'll be back for you, damn it. Maybe that's how we'll finish it. Get him. Psyduck! I fucking love Psyduck! Hang on a minute. This is a necessary detour. A mother clock inside her. In fact, we don't have a water type yet, do we? We do not. We do not have a water type. We're not gonna like this, sorry. Let's go back to camp again real quick. I'm getting that side up. Let's see my Pokemon. They are of extreme use to me. Psychic water. Original partner. Alright. Swaggy duck! Is your name for now. Swaggy Duck, until I inevitably change my mind. Ow. Sorry, buddy. <clears throat> Not intentional, just necessary. I'll be back for you, damn it. Very long, actually, this guy. Scyther! They have a Scyther! Why are my favorites popping up now? Nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly high in the air. Got him! Deer now. 
I hope you find me very endearing. Ha! <laughs> so you said that you got a pig with a metal tri present there. What? You, you, you mash up Cleo's favorite food and the boss you could throw offerings at him? That's kind of an unorthodox approach. So I'm think you've been doing that this whole fucking game. I mean, now you can make offerings slow Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll let you my hand if it means we provide Cleaver with this offering. Let's begin at once. Come on, Leon. Don't be a dumbass. Well, the plan is only Cleaver's flavor plump beans that brought them as promised. Yeah, that's right. My apologies. We forgot all about you. If we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we have no choice but to turn to the Galaxy Team. Even if I have my doubts, whether you should trust an outsider, the Galaxy Team can still share a customer of our So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You battled by your Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. But I have Pokemon as close to me as sisters. What am I, blood? If you can defeat my Glaceon and me... Alright, fair enough. Alright. One on six again. Alright. <clears throat> Eevee versus Glaceon. That's not big stuff, is it? See, if I was smart, I wouldn't switch them out. But I want them to get XP from this. So, I'm gonna switch them out. Geodote should be fine. Get him, Dwayne! You, you fucking what? How is that super effective? Is ice good against rock? Did I did I miss something? D did I not get the memo that rock is supposed to shatter ice? Okay, fuck. We'll burn it. That can still be a thing. Burn it. Burn it with fire. It's all right. Finish it with fire. Oh, I couldn't. It, it died of its wounds. Sorry, Dudeski. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products to discard for Pokemon. You still understand that Pokemon caught and treated as partners. I don't my trust in you. I think. Let me see, see what Pokemon's wounds. Let me explain to Gaston. What do you mean with these foods? And to keep your distance, you'll mask his foods together and pop the... Yeah, I, 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 I'm just gonna say, we've said this about six times. Are we pouring him a bowl of corn flakes? There, a veritable amount of, amount of bombs. This should be please Cleaver if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Yeah, let's go. Sky, baby. Lord of the Woods, though it isn't time yet, so we prepare our offering for your favorite things. The little works, beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. This is most damn to keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Crusher! Crusher! What's that? Crusher! I probably should have got more balls. Assuming I can catch it. Victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy. You'll have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses. You'll be able to send your Pokemon in a battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle, the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. The bombs will be more effective than you should throw as many as you can. Okay, so. That's 
That's not good. If I switch, this will be bad for the rest of them, so I can just take it, I think. Swift! Well, he's a wood type, so I should get fire, yeah? Psyduck. It would not have been good if we didn't have Psyduck. Okay, um, we might still have a chance with Shinx. If he goes down, we're gonna have to res Psyduck. If I have a res. Vital quick attack release, right? Fight! My best chance is fucking, um, Psyduck. Comes out, he's gonna die immediately. 
dude's gonna die immediately as well. It's not really much of a choice. It's just who can, who's buying Tommy? Yeah, you or him? I don't think I can catch it. There's no choice but to win this battle. Can't catch it. Shit! We don't have any reses! In that case, there's only one other option. Gia, dude, you're gonna have to slug this out and win somehow. There's no way fucking he can do it. Wait a minute, if he's rock, that means he's weak to grass. Leapage! What? Jesus. confused about this thing's strengths and weaknesses. And that was literally clutch. Are, are, are you calm now? Are, are you calm, boy? Gia dude, you are the MVP. Wait, Gia dude and fucking Psyduck. Yeah, dude. Cider. MVPs. We received the insect plate from Clip. Or was he a bug? Oh. So he was a bug. Maybe he was a rock bug. It allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the bug type. I don't know what that means, to gain the power of the bug type. What happened? Some kind of lighter wrapped in the Cleaver's body. This Lord Cleaver frenzy mind truly been put at ease now. I'm getting it mixed up again. It confirmed the strange lightning of the Cleaver's unnatural power. Uh, uh, I don't fucking know. Maybe? Well, that's what I think after we've seen. When the strange lightning came from the space time the other night, those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into a frenzy after all. The lightning came from space time rip? The Almighty Sinnoh really does well beyond space. The strange lightning is dear. My Almighty Sinnoh's power? Then we're even right to try and interfere? Well, happily went along with this plan to create some bonds. So I knew what I was doing like some kind of thoughtless fool. Oh, wait, let just. Calm yourself. Remember the Lord of the Woods has long been a protective keeper. Calm. The genius Pokemon that might harm us. With power sent by true Almighty Sinnoh, German Cleaver sent us to attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Mr. Devin came just now needed to be done. I'm glad we can settle this without future strife for the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy's team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this penguin frenzy, please help them. Hmm, yes, fine! I apologize for being uh, briefly composed, briefly you've done for my lord. Please take this on behalf of the Pro Clan. Consider my apology, I haven't spoken rudely. What do I get? Money? Balls? All the above? Set your berries? So it's HP after the magnitude. Oh, okay, it's... That's not too bad. Let me care for your Pokemon as well. Thank you! Everyone's a walking Poker Center. <clears throat> and it seems you've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeking Lord Cleaver such as a, uh, in such a frenzy again. He was fearful strong after all. Times you've seen it use roll. Oh, it counts if I use roll out? Oh, cool then. It's command of command and you've accomplished your mission. Guys, he does. They should be healed. You know what, though? Part of me 
kind of wants to have one more crack at that other Pokemon. You're not going to be very useful in that situation. You're not. You're not. <clears throat> you three will. Ice. Water. This ice water, the made ones. Bam! Yum, 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 yum. That doesn't do much. That doesn't do much. Probably that one. Another cider! Hey, yeah, buddy! I'm defeated. Now I'm defeat electric type moves. Times you've given it food, times you've evolved. My offering and get in the ball. Wait a minute, that's a different type. Use that one. I wouldn't mind catching it still. We'll just do a tackle. Hopefully it won't kill him. We'll take one more. No! Oh well. Take some aid. Speak of the devil, though. That fucking beat, Mr. Hood. Beaver, that beaver! Make that thing any weaker. So 
Right, now we need something to try and soak up hits while we kill it. Sheeps. Dream Team, the, the, the Trippy Team. Now. Behind here are basically just Pokeballs now. Go Pokeball! Just gotta make it land now. Yes! Gotcha! You beaver looking son of a bitch! Making me waste all my revives on you! XP candy. I'll have to look up and see if there is a benefit to evolving Pokemon later or earlier in this, in this game. Because I know in the other ones it's it's better to live. There's another one? Okay, well no, we already got one. See you later. Jump! Jump to freedom! Teleport out, actually. Yes. Now that we got our main big boy. All right. I'd like to, yes, I would like to report my results to the professor. Uh, for quite clear as being fruit, how about I report them? <clears throat> yeah. Psyduck. Scyther! Psyduck. A big fucking beaver bitch. Whenever this music turns on, it feels like I've solved a case or something. Oh ho! It seems you made some observations. Let's have a look then. Most illuminating. I'll take the Pokedex with this data. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Speed new, species newly registered. Carrying out some fight work. I believe you're ready to move up to the next rank. This reporter, Captain Salin, eh? Could ride on that if I were you. Hmm. You, you quelled Lord Clipper, you say? Well, bravo, my boy. Done a better village report to Commander Kumato. <clears throat> okay, so I gotta go up. I have to talk to them to go up in my rank. And then I gotta talk to the other guy to do the next mission. <clears throat> I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. What do you have here? Could it be... Ah! Those are two of the fabled plates of old. Please, let me have a look. I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says, For all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from very old myth. How did you come across these? I see. So you've given the plates when you impressed Weirdeer and Cleaver. Cleaver. Quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess you will find more plates like these scattered across his zone. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. These mysteries of the past, oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. Okay. <clears throat> Onward to victory, onward to glory! Before I forget, though, there's that old lady. Turn the grounds. <clears throat> protective charms. Let's, let's get that protective charm. Because I'm only missing one. After that, I got all three. So, can't, calm your shit, you're fine. You can do a little bit more of a walk. Stay in good health. Why is this one so much cheaper? I'm so confused. Ah, oh, here we go. Thank you! Before any other items when you faint in the field, the Stuffer Charm has a five red colors. Oh, okay, so you can stack them. I didn't know that. Okay. Now that I've got... <clears throat> sorry, now that I've got one of each, though, 
I should hopefully remember all of them and be like, okay. <clears throat> Zubat's eyes. Okay. I think it's supposed to do, but recently it does look impressive. So do I talk to you? Investigation coming will grind to a halt if you come in capacity. To avoid that outcome. I imagine you would have well, since it would mean losing food and shovel to provide for you. Rest of report. I will just worth it. Show me your Pokedex. That's kind of cute. Right. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. that star. It was a good one. It involved Dax. You officially attained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Feather Balls. Pokemon of up to level 30 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. At these as well, there are further recipes you'll need for crafting. A recipe for crafting Feather Balls. You obtain a recipe for crafting Super Potions. Gonna get yourself competing with Pokedex and hope to rise and higher in the ranks. Okay, cool. Fucking A. Well, in that case, then, I think it's a good time to stop. So, next time we begin, we can continue on and report back and see what's next in the mission. Got all our Pokemans. They seem to be in decent condition. Want to move any in a particular station? Might put Eevee there. Aside from that, yeah, I think it's good. I think it's a good place to stop. Let's make a save. Save progress. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Until next time, I think that's a good session. Good session for now. How do, how do we do it? Send. I, I should. I should register a different picture, shouldn't I? So I'll have to see how to do that. All right. See you next time, peeps. In the next episode of Aussie Plays Pokemon Arceus. Arceus. Hopefully, this one came out better than Session Zero. Good God, Session Zero. All right. Take care, peeps. Ta ta. Farewell. Avida save. Time for me to set sail and fuck off. Bye bye! Thanks for watching! Another big thank you to my wonderful patrons! If you want to join them and support the channel, or use it to commission me for voice work, links in the description! Feel free to purchase your PC games using my Green Man Gaming affiliate link, or my Humble Bundle affiliate link. This supports the channel! And the sites get you some good deals. My Twitch streams are still on every Friday at 10am and 10pm at Sydney Australian time. Provided I'm not dead, ill or drowning in chocolate. And my public Discord gaming sessions, which all of you can join, are on every Saturday and Sunday at 10am Sydney Australian time. Posts will go out on Discord, Twitter and all my socials when these and videos go up. So hop on for some updates, peeps. I also got a code for a watch. You see that shit? Links below. Bye bye for now, you beautiful specimens. Have a nice day. <laughs>